running the mission. It is out there, which is fantastic. You know, I, this is a kind of a dream come true. My name's Rodney Jackson, and I'm a wildlife biologist. I was born in South Africa, grew up in Zimbabwe. Looking back on all of this, had I known some of the challenges, I probably would not have got involved in it. But at the same time, I really say to anybody, if you're passionate, if you want to do something that you know, you're really excited about, go for it. And you'll probably find a way to get to the other side and, and make a valuable contribution to it. So we are now looking at thermal cameras. These are temperature sensing cameras that hopefully will be able to detect the prey animals, whether they're moving, resting, or foraging. You know, it's difficult to assess. It's not their person in the field, how many of them. In the modern technology helps us uh, with genetics and with the camera charts, but still it's expensive. If we would use drone with thermal cameras, then we can monitor trends of IBX population or Argadish population. So if IBX population is all grown and Argadi population number is grown, we would assume that it's not that population will be doing well. This stuff's worked more or less okay over in the States. And now we wanted to try it in real snow leopard country. So um, one of the big hurdles is just getting everything here and it's working. And, um, this has never been tried before that I know of, so we'll, we're hoping for the best. We have good technologies now coming up, you know, like, like drones. But there is some difficulties like wind, weather situations, and batteries, other things. We are improving ourselves by year by year, day by day. So we need to walk with the technology also. That's the main thing I want to say. Use new technologies, use new methods. They have been running land-based walking transects now for almost 10, 12 years. And we wanted to compare the drone counts to the walking counts. I'm nervous. We've seen the transects from Google Earth, but we've never flown them. And they're about four kilometers long to over nearly three miles, I guess.
This morning we started earlier, uh, just on six o'clock actually arrived at site four, transect number four. The sun is coming up, it's, it's good weather. We pretty well calm at least at ground level, but there's probably, you know, five, 10 kph or maybe more up at 100 meters where it's flying. Other than that, we're running the mission. It is out there, which is fantastic. You know, I, this is a kind of a dream come true. Animals, great. We have some animals, let's see them. Fantastic. But three of them, moving. Mm -hmm. They're gone now. They're, They're gone. gone now. But we got some animals. <laughs> we got yes. animals. It was so cold. <laughs> uh, they were moving down there. Three little yellow specks. That is close. That, that is really is close. So it's a little close. close. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. I can count again. Yeah. I did fifteen. Fifteen. I'm going to put thirteen to fifteen. Thirteen to fifteen. There's a lot of conflict between local people because snow leopards are killing livestock. And if we can build up the wild prey base, hopefully we can reduce the human wildlife conflict. I would say to anybody, you're not gonna make a lot of money. You're not going to necessarily break new ground, but you're going to help save a species that is really quite unique and that needs more Mongolians, more Nepalis, more Indians, more Russians, Kyrgyz people to do the protection and not, you know, I feel very privileged having done the first study, but it really should be the, the indigenous, the up and coming uh, biologists like Byra that should be doing this. Not only brothers uh, need to come together. You need to bring brothers together from different projects. Uh, even you are working in different sites, uh, uh, different sites in Mongolia, and you need to you need to collaborate very closely with local people. So these new methodologies uh, should pass it by us to new generation and to have them better work, successful work. Without the locals. Conserving the snow leopard, it's not, it's not gonna go well. It's a challenge for Mongolia. It's, there's not, not many people like wanting to be a conservationist. I will try my best to be a good wildlife conservationist, and then I hope my generations, who is biologists, will do the same. <laughs>